So it's kind of late at night, but in this video I'm going to explain how to make cold brew iced coffee. And it's late at night because I don't want it to sit all night. I only want it to sit like five to six hours brewing. And I have a barbecue to go to tomorrow and I thought it would be really super cool if I brought cold brew. So. I'm going to explain the first few prep steps to do the night before or the couple hours before because it does not take like two days to make cold brew. It really just takes a couple hours. So here are some supplies and instructions to make cold brew iced coffee. So some of those supplies that I have here are two um, almost, well, gallon plus little serving containers just because it's going to be like a barbecue kind of setting so I want the coffee to be sealed and this kind of has like a little carrying container handle so I figured that would be cool to serve the iced coffee in then I have one of these just like I found it standard in my cabinet but I believe it's by Tupperware you can get them almost anywhere these are from Walmart, but it was totally a nightmare buying these. I would recommend getting them anywhere else. This you can probably get anywhere, Walmart, Target, CVS, Amazon. And it's cool because this has a large opening, whereas I could not do the cold brew inside of these. I'm going to have to transfer it into there. So one of these, and this is one gallon. Um, depending on how much you're making, this is probably a great size. So I also have coffee. This is a half pound. And if you're making your own cold brew at home, I'm sure a quarter pound would be enough for you and whoever you're serving, unless it's for a party. Then I think a half pound would be great. This is a blend of Uganda, Ethiopia, India, Sumatra, and French. I think that it will have like a very nice sweetness to it, which will be perfect for the cold brew. And then I have a very large coffee filter um, to scale. It's about that big, but you know, you can definitely use a standard size coffee filter if you really wanted to. There's no reason for this giant coffee filter. So this is just what I happen to have of course but a smaller standard one is perfect and then i just have a coffee scoop um but you could also just use a tablespoon it doesn't really matter and i have some string so those are all the supplies that you will need also i guess a fridge so i opened up my coffee filter and I'm going to follow the ratio of six cups of water to four scoops of coffee. Now I already have my jug filled with 12 cups of water and because I'm going to make my coffee really um, strong to fit in the two separate gallons, I'm going to use 16 cups, I mean 16 scoops of coffee in my giant filter. And you can follow a different recipe if you want, just because I'm making such a large quantity, I just want to follow this ratio. And with a little math, I think it'll work out really well. So I kind of cleaned it all up and bunched it in the middle. And now I'm just going to take my filter and kind of create a little dumpling kind of shape, just like this. And of course, you can do a better job with two hands. And then I'm going to tie the top with this string. Now you can see I have this cute little coffee puff ball tied pretty securely. I even twisted it a couple times with the string. Now I'm going to take my coffee 
and just place it into this jug, just making sure it's completely wet and submerged in here. Now I just used tap water. By all means, you can use filtered water or bottled water, however you're drinking your water at home. It doesn't really matter, unless that's your preference. Now I'm kind of just making sure this is all the way saturated in here. And my hands are clean, don't worry. I know I'm like feeding this to a bunch of people tomorrow. Clean hands. So I'm just going to put the lid on. And already you can see that the brewing is taking place. And if you're like me, you might remember when you were young and your parents made sun tea with you, where you would put the tea bags in the mason jar full of water and put it out on your front yard and the sun would turn it into iced tea. Does anyone else remember that? Anyway, so I'm going to find a place for this in the fridge and then check back up on it in the morning. So it's around 9.30, which means this has been seeping in there for like 10 hours. And I know I originally said around 5 hours, but I figured it would be better to just have it very strong because I'm splitting it between two containers. Um, it seems really dark and saturated in there, so I'm just going to try a little bit of it and make sure it's okay. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm excited about that. I might just leave it stay for like 5 or 10 more minutes and then split it between the two containers. Okay, so we're getting ready for the barbecue, and I filled these containers about halfway with just regular water. I put some ice in here just to keep it cold until we get where we're going, but I'll probably put it in the fridge anyway. The ice is definitely not a requirement. And then I have some soy milk, and then some half and half for people who maybe have a soy allergy or whatever. So I'm just going to start pouring the coffee over the water that's already kind of halfway in there. I only made one gallon of cold brew, and I made it really strong, so this shouldn't really affect the flavor. And it's taking a really long time. <clears throat> okay, so here's what I have so far. I'm going to taste test these and see if I need to top them off with water, but they're really strong the way they are. And then you'll be left with kind of this coffee tea bag. Mine already exploded. Um, I think it can go in the garbage disposal, but I'm just going to throw mine in the trash. You could probably compost it too if that's something you like to do. Oh! <laughs> are you still... What do you think? Pretty good. Yes. Cases are what? Are you finding mines or cases? Okay, so I just got back from the barbecue and I think the coffee was a pretty nice success. Um, it seemed a little weak so I added a little bit of a coffee filter attached to a string just to keep it strong throughout the party and whatever. But yeah, the people who drank it seemed to have enjoyed it. Other people were like, why is there coffee here? But if it would have been an earlier barbecue or something, maybe it would have been a big hit. I really liked it, so if you like this tutorial, let me know. I would love to make more coffee-related tutorials in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching.